Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are looking at seven-time champion Jimmy Johnson's race wins that I have in my collection. So, not all of them by any stretch. He won 83 races. Um, I have just a little over 10. So, you know, there's plenty of races out there that I don't have. But, um, we're going to take a look at them in order from basically my least favorite to my absolute favorite. Now, that has nothing to do with value. I can talk about that, but uh, the entire point of this is just to get to look at the race wins I've got from the seven-time champion. So, the first one, and this is my least... I shouldn't say my least favorite. I, I like all of them. If I run my collection, it means I like them. But this is probably the least... Um, uh, I guess I'd, I'd say the least attached. Um, this is his 2019 Ally uh, Clash win. Now, this one... Has some race detail here and here, you know, not a ton of crazy stuff. You know, you get your ally on the front end. Uh, you did have a wall scrape back here, and uh, the right front corner was kind of scuffed up. So there was some damage to it, which was nice. Only time this ally car is unfortunately uh, going to have that damage, uh, at least for Jimmy Johnson. Maybe next year with uh, Bowman, you'll see it. But um, uh, anyway, the reason is the clash was an awful race. I didn't even watch it because I was snowmobiling that day, and then I heard it was so bad I didn't even have to watch it. Um, but Jimmy kind of got the win in kind of a, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, not not a great way. Uh, it sounds like, you know, with the way that what happened with Menard ended up turning out was kind of a cruddy way to end the fin end the race there. So, uh, yeah, we'll put that one in there first. Number two. This is the 2014 Dover Win Elite. Um, he wins a ton of races at Dover, and I do have other Dover wins on this list. Um, but this one, just paint scheme wise, was never super crazy. Um, you know, 2014, they were really good everywhere. Hendrick seemed to be. Um, we do have the confetti here. Let's go to the right side. But uh, just overall, it's a it's a good race win. But it's just you know, there's a lot of other ones that are really really good. <laughs> I said I don't really hate any of these. They're all part of my collection for a reason. Um, Next on the list is going to be probably one of my favorite Lowe's paint schemes, very underrated scheme, the 2017 Texas win. Now, the 2017 Texas win had Hitachi back here, and it also had a flat spot on the tire. Um, so it looks, you know, if you got it sitting, it looks a little flat, but um, it had Hitachi back there instead of Lowe's. Only the Dover win had Lowe's. Uh, one had A.C. Smith, I think, and then Texas had Hitachi, and Dover had Lowe's. So that's how you can tell. Look at the sponsor right there. But it had this uh, this blue and white paint scheme with that the bright neon color. Um, so this is a paint scheme I always thought was really, really good looking. Um, then you just had some good detail to it. So um, one of the better paint schemes, the race itself was trash because it was at the brand new repave on Texas. And Texas was always um, a good track, and then they ruined it. So... Speaking of Texas, we're going to go to the fourth, and this is, again, counting down from the from the back. So I don't want to say my fourth least favorite. I like all of these, but uh, another Texas win in 2007. Uh, this is the only Gen 6 car I have with this Cobalt scheme on it. I know he won Atlanta with it, and I kind of wanted to get that one, but I haven't been able to find it yet. Um, but uh, anyway, the, yeah, this one, you got the nice big Chevy emblem, Lowe's. you got the tape on the nose there. But overall, this, this Gen 6 always did look good. Um, I always really liked the Gen 6 car with this Cobalt scheme on it. I thought it was one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, this, this one is definitely uh, a really, really nice scheme. I might put this one behind the 2017 Texas win if it weren't for the paint scheme because the paint scheme is just so darn good. Let's see, I'm going to back these up because we're going to get a lot of cars in here by the time this is all said and done. All right. Five. Um, let me see. Let me count down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15, 14, 13, 12. Number 11 on the list is going to be a win from his home track. This is the 2016 Lowe's Superman Elite. Um, I haven't actually done a review on this. This will be coming this week. Um, but this, I just got this one in to go with his championship cars um, so far. So I uh, was able to get that one in there. He won, I believe, Atlanta that year as well. I think it was Atlanta. i got to remember. Um, but yeah, this, this car looked really, really great with the Superman on it. It actually comes with a cape, which is kind of cool, but it's Fontana, home track, confetti all over it. Just, you know, the best parts about this car are basically the, the scheme, the Superman scheme, and then um, obviously having it be the, his home track and in a championship season. So that is number 11 
on that list. Now, who is going to crack the top 10? Yep, there we go. I had to count them again to make sure. Number 10 is another Fontana win. This one is not an elite, so that's why it's a little lower on this list. Otherwise, it would be higher. But this is the 2009 Jimmy Johnson Foundation uh, race win from Fontana. He won in this scheme twice. He also won at Fontana, I believe, like six or seven times. So he did well for his home track. But it's the Jimmy Johnson Foundation car. It's a really, really good looking car with a bright blue and it has the black on it. Um, Lowe's, you know, all that. But it's just there's something about Fontana. They always kick their cars in confetti, which was always kind of fun. Um, but the other thing was they always, always, always had this good Jimmy Johnson Foundation paint scheme, and he continued to have it. They just ran it at different tracks. But this this car is one of the better-looking cars that would hit the racetrack. So the Jimmy Johnson Foundation car comes in at number 10. Number 9 on this list, it's another car of tomorrow. This is the 2009 Jimmy Johnson Dover Race Win Elite. Uh, it is in the Cobalt scheme i got news for you the next two are also in this exact same paint scheme but because of his dominance at dover it's also you know not uh, it's completely unexpected that i would have a dover win in here um you know i would have thought maybe i would get the 2017 but i ended up with uh, this one instead so the 2009 dover win comes in at number 10 number nine on this list is another cobalt scheme this is another one from his home track the 2010 uh number 48 car this is the 2010 Lowe's, um, or what is this, the Cobalt car from Fontana, you can see it is caked, and I mean absolutely caked in confetti, um, so that one is going to be on the list at number nine. Number eight on the list is our final of the Cobalt paint schemes. This is the 2009 Brickyard 400 race win. No confetti on it whatsoever, just nothing but pure race detail. Not a lot of race detail to be told, but it's a Brickyard 400 car, and it's a really, really clean Elite car of tomorrow. Um, right. Now we're into the top six. So coming in at number six is going to be the 2016 Charlotte race win from the Chase. This is when they had the yellow numbers back on here, the yellow sp uh, banner, the yellow spoiler, um, a really, really good looking car that they ran for the second half of the year when they put the yellow numbers back on the car. Looks really good. I think the yellow numbers is was a, the good thing they came back to, and I think it was the right move for them. All right, down to the top five. Coming in at number five, the 2016 Jimmy Johnson Martinsville win elite. This might be one of his most expensive die casts to find today. It's very hard to, to come across. Um, this one has some donut marks on that side. Also uh, race detail here, but overall it's just one of those really cool cars. It was only made in elite with that Charlotte win. And so that one, uh, you know, with it being a championship season, I, I had to have one of these. Coming in at number four is a kind of a different one. This is not from the, uh, the same stuff as the other ones. This number four is going to be the 2014 Coca-Cola 600 race win. So the awesome, awesome uh, Lowe's paint scheme from this weekend. Um, the right, oh, it's on the right side. The right side tire is chewed up, did a ton of damage to that side. Um, but the paint scheme was one of the main reasons I wanted this car. And then, of course, the damage on that side helped a lot with that 2014 car. Now to the top three. This one is one I hope to get autographed someday, but I don't have it yet. The 2013 Daytona 500 race win elite. Uh, if it wasn't a Daytona 500 win, there's not that much cool stuff with it, but I love my Daytona wins. So this comes in at number three. It's the 2013 Daytona 500 win elite. Number two in my collection is maybe controversial maybe some people think it's number one but to me it's always going to be number two to a certain car for a very specific specific reason that is jimmy johnson's 2016 homestead race win elite this is the car that he uh won his seventh championship in kind of out of nowhere at homestead it's got the confetti all over it um i thought about getting it signed and then i decided i'd keep the whole set unsigned or signed altogether i just haven't made up my mind yet so um yes this is number two the the race that he clinched that seventh championship with 
And coming in at number one, if you haven't figured it out, it is a Daytona 500 car. It is the 2006 Daytona 500 win from Jimmy Johnson. This car is really special. It's a Gen 6 Elite, which is one of the things I really enjoy these cars. I also got to see this car when I visited Daytona in 2006. Another big time reason I love this car is because I got to see this car sitting in Daytona when I went down to visit. So um, that'll pretty much wrap this up. Let me uh, get one more shot for you all here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure you guys can see all the specific and awesome Jimmy Johnson cars. Uh, they might be a little out of order by the time we get to here because I don't have, um, I didn't plan my, my spacing that well. But um, there we go. There we go. So that'll pretty much wrap up this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below what your favorite Jimmy Johnson race win is. Um, this has been Race Craze. Subscribe if you're new uh, for daily diecast content. Uh, I do try to record these videos daily. Let me know your thoughts below, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.